Hello, welcome. We are doing an amazing episode of Let's Talk About It, where we talk to real people about real topics. Today, we're talking about texting. How many times on an average do you text a day? I would say 50 times. It's maybe like 50 texts a day. Yeah, often that's how I keep in touch with my friends, my teammates. So. Cool. Uh, do you text a lot? Yeah, I do text a lot. Ballpark. A hundred. Do you ever text while driving? I do have to admit sometimes I do. I mean, I don't drive too much here, but back home, yeah, a bit. Okay. No, of course not. <laughs> I can barely function while driving, so. <laughs> yes, I've texted while driving my skateboard. I've been in way too many near-death experiences while in the car with somebody while texting and driving. So I have a very bad um, anxiety when it comes to texting and driving. You're being serious right now. Yeah. This is for real. This is 100% for real. I got caught for it one time, so I haven't since. You got I caught, haven't. tell me, what happened? So I was, I was on my way home from work and I was actually just typing a number into my phone so I could call. And then I got pulled over for it and got a ticket and I haven't done it since because I learned my lesson. Have you ever gone to a car accident while texting? No. 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 I'm usually, when I'm doing it, I memorize where my phone, my buttons are. So I was doing it that way. But I looked down for a second and they caught me. Cool. What is the uh, weirdest thing you've ever texted somebody or the most embarrassing thing you texted somebody by accident? Um, I can't really remember, but there's some things that I meant to text to somebody else by accident. Um, what about with you? <laughs> oh, yes multiple times i have terrible luck with any technology whatsoever honestly any any maybe not embarrassing story any story we did a, where you sent somebody the wrong message i was at one of my ex's houses and we were like still friends we were kind of like you know on a break and like we were just like hanging out and then i was actually gonna go mini golfing with another one of my friends which happened to be a guy so here's where the conflict comes so I was sending a message to my other guy friend saying hey when do you want to go mini golfing i'm still at my friend's house and it was supposed to send to him and it sent to my ex. Mm -hmm. And so he thought I was going home to have dinner with my family because I didn't want to tell him that because of course he would be, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. So he found that and he's like, oh, have fun mini golfing, I guess. And I was like, crap. So yeah, I, I've had that happen a lot and it's the worst feeling ever. Yes, a lot of times. I don't want to put you on the spot too much. Can you tell us about a time, maybe not too embarrassing, of where a mix-up occurred? Um, let's see. Well, I mean, just dumb little things. Like, my boyfriend lives in Minnesota, so if I'm saying, like, good night, babe, love you, and I've sent that to a friend in it, or my mom, and it just gets kind of weird. <laughs> so texting is a good tool, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't be a priority. Talking on the phone is way better than texting because you actually hear someone's emotions. Multitasking is the worst thing anybody can do, especially while skateboarding and especially while driving. Please, please, please don't text and drive. As much as you think you're a great multitasker, you're not. It's not a useful tool. You will get in an accident sooner or later.